what's up dudes and dudettes. This is Noel on PC. We're playing some KSP. Uh, we're revisiting the uh, cargo dropper. The, the cargo dropper from a few videos ago. Uh, one of the sub OGs, uh, Marcelo, suggested doing science drop pods as opposed to the things we've been doing in the past. It's a good suggestion. It doesn't help me because I don't play career mode so science is irrelevant but it sort of dawned on me like yeah this would be a good way to harvest science you know through uh, biomes that you haven't been to yet so I zipped um, Cape Canaveral is somewhere over there over the horizon this is the other continent we've sort of zipped over here because I wanted to see if this would work all right we're over the shore there we go, tundra. Oh, there was a split second of tundra right at the shoreline. That's good to know. That might be like a glitch, like instead of sand, they just added tundra. I don't know, that was weird. All right, so I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm hoping it will. Let's see. Autopilot set up. Oh, geez, that flew right out because it was so light. Okay, we got to do this quick. We got to do this quick. We got to do this quick. Boink. Nope, you don't want to do that. I'm going to do that. Press spacebar and nothing happened. And landing legs out. Can we get back in time? Whew! Okay. We did it. <laughs> well, we got one out. I'm, I'm most interested to know, will it hit the ground? Will it survive? And if so, I'm going to upload it to the Dropbox. I don't think there's any uh, non-stock parts on here. Everything looks... Everything looks stock, right? I don't see any non-stock parts. Yes, I will upload this, drop, this to the Dropbox. If there's a, a mod part, fuck, I'm sorry. It happens. Um, but yeah, this would be a great way, if you have the stages necessary to get to this position, you've already collected a lot of science. You know, this is a lot of parts that you wouldn't have otherwise, unless you had already gotten quite a bit of science. You know what I mean? Um, so this may or may not help you guys, but it at least gives you an idea of something you could do with the basic parts you have. Build a plane, use my rail system, right? It's a pretty straightforward system. It's just, you just use two sets of rails, one that it's going to sit on, and one to basically box it in on the insides, right? So it has nowhere else to go but straight backwards or straight forwards, and in this case it's going to be straight backwards. Yeah, you, you, you copied this. So that... That probably hit the ground by now, right? It's disappeared. That's probably a bad thing, right? You. Let's go back and take a look. I assume that's a really bad thing. I assume because it had a core that it would that it would go to the ground, right? I mean, it should have. It should have. We're basically out of fuel. Doing the, like, I just hauled ass uh, from one continent to the other. So I used a shit ton of fuel. So we're just going to put it down. And then we're going to recover this craft. And we're going to see if that craft is actually there somewhere. It should, I mean, it, at minimum, it should be there as debris. I don't understand why anything would just vanish. I mean, I get it. Because that's just the way it is. Or... To save on RAM, I don't fucking I don't I don't I don't make games, so I don't know these things. There's always a logical answer for it. It's just fucking annoying that you'd ever have a game like this where you couldn't have the small craft just parachute down to the ground. Like it's I'm sure it's really not that hard. They're just avoiding work, maybe. Again, I don't make games. I shouldn't criticize, but it's like don't don't half-ass a game, right? That just hurts everybody. You guys always ask me like, why do you why do you just pr why do you press the brake? Why do you press the brake? Why don't you just like hold B? And it's like, well, because I'm trying to fly the fucking plane. I don't have a third hand. <laughs> like I'm sure you I'm sure you do, but I like to work the view while I'm landing and stuff. So you know that's one hand, right? And then I gotta fly the fucking thing, right? All right, and that's another hand. So I can't just hold B at the same time. It doesn't work like that. I fly the way I want to fly. Got a problem with it? Pick a different airline. Motherfuckers. 
but all you guys love me. I love all of you guys. I love 99% of you guys. I should say that. <laughs> Some of you come into the comment sections and you're just dicks, but you know, you listening, you're probably not. You're probably one of the ones I'm talking about where you guys come in and you give me just glorious comments all the time. You guys are fucking awesome. I fucking love you guys. I wish you guys made this game. You guys probably make it right. You guys are cool. Um, I was hoping to like spot a flat spot. I'm kind of keeping like an eye on that maybe, or at least this upslope. All right, that looks relatively smooth, but I saw like nothing else anywhere. All right, we are Captain Sullenberg. We're gonna put this Air America plane down on the Hudson there. I'm excited about that movie. It looks fantastic, not just because it has Tom Hanks in it, but because that was a, the miracle on the Hudson was fucking rad. I'm Canadian, and that's still... That was huge. You guys remember that? Alright, 220-ish miles an hour. We're gonna come down into this gully, valley, crevice. Eh, <laughs> crevice. We're gonna bring ourselves down, we're gonna try to shut off some speed. We're actually doing like too good at the shutting off of speed. I'm gonna take the air brakes off. Oh, that is sketchy from in here. I was like, I wonder what it looks like from first person. Nope. 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 Okay, did I turn the lights on? Lights off, good. I want lights, so there we go. I got some kind of a bearing of like how high we are. All right, here we go. Here we go. Just gonna start to try and stall out a bit. That was good. That was good. That was good. Yeah, that couldn't have gone any better. That was clean. I wonder what kind of biome this is. Grasslands. Hmm. Hmm. No. <laughs> I was like, I wonder if just drop one of these out. Fuck it. Pointless. If anything, the craft would probably just explode. It would kill us all, and I'd learn a valuable lesson about it. We want to recover vessel, like we said we were going to. We're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna finish loading. There we go. And we're gonna go to the tracking station. And we're gonna fingers crossed. Well, we'll pretend like it was an awesome idea. <sighs> Alright. The only other option is to follow it to the ground. If you let it, if you let it go at like 500 meters or 1,000 meters, and then just sort of like bank and do like a donut, right? If you did like a circle, it'd probably still be there. Should we try that? Let's try that. All right, let's try that. We're going to do some movie magic. All right, let's try this. We're very low. That's a big mountain range. It's pretty sloppy. There's a nice valley in there. Okay, I'm thinking probably right in there. All right, let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Training montage. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I hope that doesn't get copyrighted. Because, you know, my voice is just that good. We're going to drop this thing. We're going to circle right. <laughs> it's coming out so slow. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Things are happening. Awesome. We gotta get to this quick. We gotta get to this quick. Okay. Phew. All right. So this is this is not like a good way to get science. Because <laughs> like if you're gonna have to do this kind of stuff, 
This is just, this is just way too much work. You know what I mean? This is just way too much work. If anything, just you know, do like small rockets, and just sort of like launch them in the general direction, adjust in your orbit, you know, and just re-enter. Just do like a regular science probe. This is this is ridiculous, right? What was that? Oh, that that was the uh, the carriage. That's what we should call that thing. The carriage. That's a good name for it. The carriage. <laughs> Hurry the fuck up! I shouldn't. I should not have put the chutes to fully deploy at such a high altitude. I should have set that to like a thousand or five hundred or something. But having them pop right away at right away. That, that was maybe silly. Oh, there is that the carriage? Yeah, that's the carriage there. Okay, we are like most certainly crashing, right? Yeah, we were we were most certainly crashing. We're going to put it down. Literally. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That, that wing flew pretty well. All right, that, that works. We'll take it. We'll take it. Let's just put the landing gear down. There's kind of no point now. <laughs> Are you good? You good? Okay, nope. Nope. Oh, good. I can't. There we go. Okay. So that, uh, hmm. that was stupid. <laughs> uh, I don't even, uh, I don't even know what to do with this. This is just kind of just silly. This was a silly video. This, this didn't work out as well as I had kind of hoped it would. It looks cool, right? And we could launch a number of these, uh, cause now that I know it works, we wouldn't have to land. We just have to see it hit the ground. We just have to see it do this and then we can leave and this will be here. Right? I mean, it should, right? Maybe? Anyways. All right, guys. This wasn't the most successful video. I'm sorry. It was just a, a tiny experiment into potentially having like a nice way to just launch one thing, get a ton of science. But I think, honestly, the best way to do that is I think we've done it in the past where I launch one rocket into a low Earth orbit and then just start dropping pods down that way because you could take like 50 or 60 of these things, put a heat shield on it, right? And just literally scatter these things all over the earth and get tons of science. The orbiter stays up and just these things come down one at a time. So you could just track one at a time. They'd all make it to the surface. I think that would be way easier. Maybe that's what we'll do in the next video is we'll reimagine some kind of mega science thing then I'll upload that. But I'm going to put this in the Dropbox because, again, it's got, no, it's got no modded parts. I think it should work fine. You guys might have fun with it. You might not. You can always repurpose these things uh, to redo the sled with something else on it so you can have fun trying to drop shit out yourself. But yeah, there we go. All right, guys. Until next time, peace, love, cheers.